Do you want to improve your students' reading outcomes? I have five ways that can help with that. I'm Stephanie, and I support educators to learn about and implement the science of reading. So many of you are excited to get started and make changes in your classroom that will help you to get better results, but maybe you're not going to be getting a new core reading program or even an intervention program. Here are five ways that you can improve your classroom reading instruction right now. First of all, increase engagement. You can do this by no longer asking for students to raise their hand when they answer your questions or provide a response. Use instead partner responding, so at least half of the class is responding at once. Make use of choral responding so that you can see if every student has provided a correct response. And make use of silent signals, either writing on a whiteboard, thumbs up, thumbs down, that sort of thing. The second way that you can improve your tier one reading instruction without getting a new program is to make sure that you are immediately correcting errors. Don't let mistakes go by without correcting them. And you can make these corrections in a very non-judgmental, neutral way so that you are simply stating what the student said that was correct in their response, stating what they said that was an error, giving them the correction, and then having them repeat the correct response. Don't leave that interaction without them providing the correct response. A third way you can improve your tier one reading instruction without getting a new program is to make sure you are integrating across the five essential early literacy skills. Not having separate times for spelling and a separate time for writing and a separate time for vocabulary and a separate PA program or time of the day. For example, if you're teaching phonemic awareness, you can make sure that students understand the meanings of the words that they are blending or segmenting. Or if you are teaching vocabulary, have the students write the words that they are learning the meanings of. Very powerful. A fourth way you can improve your tier one instruction is to always start with sounds. And what I mean by that is to have prompts that you use with your students that direct them to use the sounds in words that they want to read and write. So if they are looking at the word and they're trying to figure out how to read it, you want them to put their finger under the first letter and say the sound, next letter and say the sound. Obviously that would be for young students, but use that particular prompt or cue first, foremost, and forever. Have them look at the letter and say the sound. Or if you are working with students who are trying to spell words, rather than directing them to look at a word wall or look into some kind of spelling dictionary, just have them say the sounds in the word that they want to spell and represent each one of those sounds with letters. The fifth and final suggestion that I'll give for improving tier one instruction without getting a new program is to manage transitions in the classroom. You can maximize learning opportunities by simply getting smoother and more manageable transitions between activities in your classroom. So having routines, having procedures that you explicitly teach to your students so that it runs like clockwork and there's no issue moving from one activity to the next. Would you like to learn other ways to improve reading outcomes? Make sure to subscribe and watch other videos to dive deeper into MTSS and the science of reading.